Hey y'all, it's Michaela Fana Pacross, if you didn't already know, and today I am bringing y'all not only a wash day, but I'm also going to be trying to style my hair while I'm still in the shower. I decided to do something different for a change. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, the real reason, the real reasoning behind this video is that I just didn't really feel like having to move the equipment back to my desk to style my hair, because that's a, that's a lot of moving around. And then I went through a lot to even film this video in the shower so I really just like did not feel like just doing all that movement so I just decided to do everything in the shower this time so yeah so I'm just gonna get into the video right now I'm just um, rinsing my hair and just letting, letting, letting my hair get saturated with water oh my god and y'all especially if you've never been on this channel before please don't mind my facial expressions I know they're like horrible I don't know why I just don't really like water being near my face I love water but for some reason when it like gets by my face and like you know the shower water coming from the shower head is just kind of right there I just my face scrunches up I, I don't even be realizing that I'm doing it so like please don't mind my faces but right now I'm just um actually taking out any like shed hair from the ends because I find that this is this definitely like helps with detangling and makes it easier when I just pull out all the strands that are already clearly like shed. I just make sure that my hair, like my ends are like underneath the water. So it like minimizes snagging, but like this way, like just pulling out the shed ends just minimizes snagging for when you do go in with a styling tool. I do detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb, so I find that finger detangling, pulling on my ends to get that obviously shed hair out before I go, into, go in with the comb does minimize any unnecessary breakage and snagging. Here, I'm just doing a little light check, you know, nothing serious, I'm slight, you feel me? But anyway, <laughs> I'm just now sectioning my hair off so I can start conditioning my hair. If you watched my official wash day routine, 2022 then you know the order that I do things is not typical I actually condition or deep condition before I shampoo this way it like it just makes wash day like a hundred times easier when I detangle my hair first and then wash it and it also provides moisture so that if I happen to use a shampoo that's stripping I will have support to fall back on I have moisture so my hair won't be completely dry and brittle just from a shampoo you know i am making sure to finger detangle before i go in with the detangling tool because as i said earlier doing this helps to minimize any unnecessary snagging or breakage that may come with using a a tool such as a comb or a tangle teaser anything that does not isn't very flexible you know nothing's more flexible than your fingers so you can be a lot more gentle with your fingers first before you go in with something like a comb what i'm about to use so yeah, you could also just finger detangle and not use anything else. But me personally, I find that when I only finger detangle, I don't really get all the tangles out. So I go in with a comb just to be sure about everything, make sure I got all the tangles out and all the knots and everything. Y'all may see me wet my hair repeatedly throughout when I'm detangling my hair because this actually like helps activate the conditioner more because like sometimes you don't need more conditioner you just need to wet your hair again especially like when you're like low porosity water will help absorb the product more than just applying more conditioner and also it also helps when you apply your products in increments rather than just slapping a giant blob of conditioner on your low porosity hair all at once because then it'll it'll either take longer to absorb it or it simply won't absorb because i know when i apply big blobs of product when i'm in the shower without wetting it or like just not putting it on in increments it'll like it'll just slide right off and another tip is to make sure that you are combing your hair in different directions don't just comb down comb up comb to the side comb up comb in all directions y'all see me doing that throughout this video because just because it feels detangled in one direction does not mean it's detangled in the other direction so that's that's very really important that's how you make sure your hair is truly detangled so we finna speed this part up because i'm sure y'all do not want to watch me detangle my hair for a full 30 minutes but anyway 
Um, Y'all saw me show to the camera earlier that I'm using the African Pride Moisture Miracle Conditioner. And I actually like this conditioner. I feel like it has like really good slip. And if y'all don't know what that is, it's basically like how easily you're able to detangle your hair, glide your fingers through it, glide your comb through it without snags and tangles and all of that. Like, I feel like this detangles my hair like really easy and it also absorbs into my hair easy. The product isn't that heavy. I mean, it is, but it's also like watery. Given like its consistency, I feel like because it's like not a butter, it's more so like watery. It absorbs into my hair, my low porosity hair, a lot easier as opposed to if I were using like a very thick cream to detangle my hair, if that makes sense. And yeah, that in combination with the water, like this, this sped up the detangling process. Like this is not taking long at all. But yeah, another reason why conditioning before shampooing makes the whole wash day so much easier is because when I finish detangling this section, I twist it up and boom it's out the way so by the time i'm shampooing my hair is sectioned off and i can get to my scalp way easier if i were to rather than if i were to just wash go in shampoo no sections like i can't even imagine i can't even imagine doing that like just shampooing your hair with no sections like you know how thick your hair is like you y'all see how thick my hair is like i would not be able to get to my scalp if i didn't section my hair off first. So now that I'm about done, I'm actually, and that's how much hair I shed, which I haven't washed my hair in about two weeks, so that's about typical. But now I'm about to apply some more conditioner, just overall, to my overall head. And then I'm going to put a plastic bag on my head. Don't fight me, don't ridicule me, um, you know, don't, don't do too much. But I'm gonna put a plastic bag on my head and I'm gonna let the conditioner sit while I do my shower routine, wash my body, my face, shave a little bit, you know, do all the hygiene stuff. And then, yeah. So now I am, <laughs> there go the facial expressions again. But now I'm rinsing out my conditioner and I'm gonna go in with the shampoo. By the way, if y'all noticed the camera angle change, it's because my whole setup literally decided to fall in the middle of when I was washing myself and all that jazz. But we're not, we not gonna talk too much about that. Um, we don't want any negative energy entering this video. But anyway, uh, I'm going in with the hair food shampoo, which I already have done a video with the shampoo and the conditioner. So if you wanna check that out and see what I thought about it, which obviously I thought good about it if I'm using it again, um, make sure to check out that video. I'll tag it at the top for y'all. So click on it if you want to but yeah um i'm actually like trying to use all of it because i used the conditioner up a long time ago and i i, I use like way more conditioner than i use shampoo so that's why I, i'm still trying to use up the shampoo but yeah nonetheless it's still a great shampoo but i am going in with shampoo and just trying to scrub all the dirt off my scalp and really concentrate the shampoo on my scalp as y'all can see it's not really lathering much that's because my scalp is dirty as hell but what i'm actually doing is rinsing out the shampoo and then i'm gonna put more shampoo and y'all are gonna see that this time around this is it's gonna do what it's supposed to do you know I'm trying to use all that up but y'all see like it just goes on way smoother the second time and it lathers y'all i love a good lather from a shampoo i really do 
y'all see it lathers way more and also like y'all see my hair just looks cleaner and it's still moisturized it's moisturizing shampoo so that's a plus i definitely like need the moisture since i take forever to wash my hair i think this time i hadn't washed it in about two weeks but sometimes i go over two weeks sometimes it's three weeks sometimes it's a month i'm really i'm really bad with that um not gonna lie to y'all so i do need the moisture and i like the hair food shampoo because even though it's a moisturizing shampoo it does a good job cleaning my scalp and yeah so y'all see me unraveling the twist sometimes i do sometimes i don't either way my hair stays relatively detangled so i don't really have an issue with that as long as i know i don't do too much i try to um run my fingers through my hair like as i'm shampooing so that my hair doesn't tangle back up so much and yeah i'm just scrubbing my scalp and also running the shampoo down my hair shaft so that my whole scalp and as well as my hair is just clean all the way around y'all y'all see the difference like my hair visibly my hair and my scalp actually just looks visibly cleaner and we love that by the way i will be linking all the products that i use in the description box below so if you want to check them out for yourself you can i always link the products i use in the description in case y'all want to check them out for yourselves lastly i just want to say low porosity hair is something else because why is this taking why is this shampoo taking so long to rinse out like but anyway, now I'm going in with the As I Am Store and Repair JVC Old Leave-In Conditioner. I don't have any complaints about this leave-in. I like using it. As you can see, uh, the bottle is dang near empty. And I also have another bottle that I haven't opened yet. So yeah, I'm also trying to use up this leave-in. So yeah, I like applying my leave-in when I'm still in the shower so that it has an easier time absorbing into my hair and so that I don't run into issues when I'm layering products, so when I'm applying the curl cream or when I'm applying the gel, I won't run into flakes because the products don't mix and all that stupid stuff that nobody ever wants to go through. So now I am going into the styling process, but first thing I always do is oil my scalp and in this video I'm using the um, Jamaican Mango and Lime Island Oil, one of my go-tos. My scalp gets pretty dry so I always try to oil it right after. I wash it just like after washing my hair you gotta put moisture back into it so I do the same thing with my scalp and I also try to oil my scalp periodically um, throughout the week not just not just when I wash it okay <laughs> so yeah and just get a good massage in and then we're gonna get into the styling process which I'm doing with wash and go um, definitely not doing the twist out or a braid out because that would really take forever and nobody wants to be in the shower for that long, especially when the water is off. Like I'm literally just standing in the shower. There's no water running. I'm just standing in the shower. But yeah, I'm using the OK Pure Naturals Coconut Hair Smoothie. And yeah, I've actually used this before on my channel. I'll tag it up here. I used it to do a twist out and the twist out came out perfect. When I say perfect, I mean perfect. So yeah, I decided to try try it with the wash and go this time. See how it turned out. Yeah, I actually tried doing a cream only wash and go. I've I've done a cream wash and go before, but I did not put it on this channel. The the cream I use is actually for a product line that has not been released yet. Stay tuned, it drops 11 21st, 2022 Afrolux Organics. But yeah, <laughs> my thing lately has been to minimize the amount of products that I layer on my hair because the more products that I put on my low porosity hair, the harder it is to get it all to absorb into my hair, which I actually didn't run into this problem this time because since I wasn't constantly re, re, re ooh, English Taylor, since I was not constantly re-wetting my hair throughout this process, my the front of my hair ended up flaking because I didn't have enough time for the product to absorb into my hair because my hair was drying. And when my hair is 
getting drier, it has more difficulty absorbing product. And another thing that I just did not remember when doing these cream wash and goes is that it may not seem like it's defining your hair at first, but like when it dries, it it's like super defining but it just doesn't seem like it at first. So me looking at my hair, I'm thinking like this, this cream isn't doing anything. And the whole time, like it just needed, it just needed a little bit more time to clump the curls together. So I'm applying more product, even though I didn't need more product. And see, that's, that's, where, I, that's where I messed it up. But regardless, like my wash and go came out cute and y'all will see that shortly. So yeah, that's halfway done and this is what it looks like fully done now i just gotta let it dry and y'all can y'all can see the definition like it just took it just took a little minute you know but the the definition is there okay and also like with cream washing goes it makes my hair look fuller as opposed to if i were to use a gel and yeah so now this is actually two days later i washed my hair sunday and now it's Tuesday because my hair wasn't fully dry on Monday so I had to wait another day but now I am just going to knock out some of the flakes in the front of my hair with the blow dryer um, I find that that helps minimize some flakes and also like I just wanted to stretch my hair a little bit since the back was like it was pretty shrunken um, it didn't look like it in this clip because my hair was in a bun the day before and I also pineapple it at night so it was already a little bit stretched but I know my hair I know I can get it more stretched than it was so yeah I'm just going in with a blow dryer and stretching my hair out which is typically what I do to stretch my hair I don't really do anything else I've tried the bending method before I just didn't really didn't really care for it I definitely prefer the blow dryer and yeah and also using the same olive oil to minimize frizz while I'm stretching my hair um, I just apply that to my hair shaft and cover my ends I don't stretch my ends just the just the hair shaft and the roots stretching your hair with a blow dryer is just super simple I just blow dry it on warm heat and on high and that's it it's really it's really simple and my edges are already laid which is why i have a scarf on excuse the poor camera quality i was in a rush because i had class after this and i had my camera set up on a different tripod than i normally do so i didn't really have time to play around with that and also i didn't realize that i had to wipe my back camera off before i put it on the tripod and started recording so yeah, I didn't realize how bad this was until I finished recording and sent it to my laptop. So it was too late by then. But yeah, now I'm about done stretching my hair. It may not look like it because I was very focused on trying to get this done so I can get the class on time. But I was actually very pleased with the results. Changing my part from the middle part to a side part because I just... I just don't really like middle parts, you know? I'm, I'm very much a left side part girly, okay? And I'm just gonna pick my hair out a little bit, make sure sides are even, and overall my fro looks good, okay? Y'all can see like right there, like the flakes, they, they tried to come for me this time, but thankfully it was only in the front. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished product. I'm actually, I really like the results. I really like doing cream wash and goes, not gonna lie to you. Like, just not having to layer on so much products anymore. Like, I really, I really like this. Like, gel wash and goes only, cream only wash and goes, mousse only wash and goes. I'm on that train right now and I'm loving it. Like, y'all see, y'all see the definition. And like, also having this much volume on day one, on day one, like I really love it. I love it here. Y'all can let me know down in the comments if y'all love it too. And make sure to subscribe, like, share, anything, all that sort. Make sure to support your girl. You know, it only takes like two seconds, but no pressure. I digress. Remember to never stop growing and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.